Oop, dropped a little poop there. Oh, that's cloth. Quite the gosh dang busted up Adidas. Calm down, Kevin. Don't hurt yourself, bud. Definitely has some kind of deformity. This is the most adorable little baby boy. Okay, so there's literally a coyote. Guys, check this out. I just got this brand new gosh dang busted up Adidas. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? As you can see, the baby is much bigger. So today I'm going to film a little the baby update video for you guys. As you can see, my son is now about uh, two to three to four feet tall. I know it's quite a range, but it's, it's a lot different whenever he's hopping and whenever he's standing. Like, look at that. That's a four foot tall boy. And maybe three and a half. But the baby is a very beautiful man. He's getting very, very big. Still look back fondly to the days whenever he was just sitting in a little tiny pouch. If you remember the good old days when the baby and I used to play Minecraft, for hours on end you qualify for a veteran's discount but other than his size not much has changed with the baby he still makes these little rabbit poops that roll around all over the ground sometimes he finds it difficult to distinguish between the poop and the food and he still hates it when i throw these gosh dang busted up adidas what do you think of that gosh darn busted up adidas the baby what do you think of the little treats in that gosh dang busted up adidas see guys i keep up with the memes <laughs> oh, that's that's quite the gosh dang busted Busted up Adidas. <laughs> the baby sure loves the Adidas sneakers. But yeah, guys, he's still my beautiful little man. Although he's getting bigger and bigger, and pretty soon he'll be able to beat me in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oop, dropped a little poop there. But that's okay, because the goal was to save him from being hunted or eaten on a farm, and to eventually train him for greatness. Ergo, fighting Jake Paul in the ring. And soon, my adorable little strong, handsome man is going to be able to fight Jake Paul in the ring in no time. Let's go into a video about how I have the baby in my house all the time. To start off, I don't because he poops everywhere. There's little poops spread out all around the house. He's only been in here for 15 minutes. Although he is quite adorable, he's quite the little poop machine. But the good thing is those poops are kind of like rabbit poops. They're very easy to clean up. Now this young man is tall enough to peek out the window, which is somewhat dangerous because he loves to run around out there. And although he may be getting a little big for this house and yard, pretty soon we're gonna have a whole two acres for him to run on in the back of the Waco property. In addition to pooping everywhere, the baby now loves baklava. He eats it all the time, only I don't let him actually eat it at all because I don't think they're supposed to eat honey. And what was once his adorable little pouch, I now use to hold all of the little things you guys send me. Like this epic Fortnite hat. Here you go, the baby. Enjoy that. Or this copious amount of fanny pack. Oh, not a little poop there. That's it though, guys. The baby hasn't really matured much in terms of growing up or being smarter. Although by now he is physically maturing and chasing after the ducks so he can... Well, I'll spare you the details on that. But he is very handsome and he's starting to gain that beautiful little jawline that those adult kangaroos have. Whoa, is that Minecraft? For the last couple months, old Uncle Ben's been giving to baby a diet of mostly grass and other normal vegetation. But now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give him a lot more of his supplemental diet. Oh, look, little poops there. And his supplemental diet includes this Missouri feed here for growing baby kangaroos. Once he starts eating that stuff, he's gonna start growing really, really quick, you guys. And because it's balking season, I'm gonna start giving him a lot more of that. And then we're gonna start getting fencing up in the back of the Waco property. What are you looking at, buddy? What's out there? Is it the mailman? Is it the mailman? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, ah, ah. And it's a lot harder now to film a video where I kiss the baby a hundred times like the good old days. Not because he's not as cute anymore, but just because he's a bit more strong-willed. Maybe he's essentially right now what you call a teenager in kangaroo years. And he doesn't love when his mama comes up to him like this and gives him little kisses. Come here, come here. Come here, come on. Having said that, if I sit here and play Minecraft long enough, he'll just run up to me and hang out. But I don't have a diaper big enough for him to hang out inside without poops being everywhere. But at some point in the future, just for old time's sake, I think I will get him a little adult-sized diaper and then let him run around in here for a bit. But until then, it's time for the baby to go back outside and eat some grass. Don't make me kiss you. I'm eating a lot of leaves lately. He just picks up leaves that fall from the trees and he just eats them whole. And if I leave him in the fun yard for too long, he just roots up all the dang mulch and throws it all around and i know you guys love your longer videos so i guess we're gonna go hiking today let's say goodbye to kevin <laughs> oh a little kiss on the head love you buddy i'll talk to you later tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and let kevin out and into the whole yard so that him and karen can graze and the baby and poggers are now best friends they grew up together and they raised each other i think poggers knows that the baby isn't very smart though but the baby loves to play with poggers tail and nibble on his face calm down kevin don't hurt yourself but i'll let you out soon enough son <laughs> all right sons let's go hike hey guys i'm at barton creek here in austin as you can see uh, this is on the green belt and i see 
see an adorable little turtle man right here. <laughs> Let's see if we can grab him. Came here to fish originally, but now I'm here for a young turtle boy. So this beautiful little turtle man, this handsome little turtle boy. Hey, get over here, son. Come on, son, don't run. Don't run, boy. <laughs> oh, don't scratch me either. This is a beautiful red-eared slider. You can tell it's a red-ear slider because of its red ears and how it slides. Look at this adorable little teeny tiny little face. This is the most adorable little baby boy. And if he bites you, it'll hurt, but not as much as a snapping turtle. Goodbye, little man. Now these fish have been trapped in here because there's a big drought. And normally this whole area is chock full of water. Oh, I think I see a bass right there. Let's see if we can catch it. <laughs> oh, there he is, an adorable baby bass. <gasps> Goodbye, son. Oh, I think I see a fish under that willow. <laughs> there he is, and a beautiful one at that. Goodbye. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cast. Right there. See if we can get one. All right. Oh, I see some little guys coming up to it. Oh, they nibbling on it. Oh, they're going after it. Give it another cast. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I think I see a bunch right there. <laughs> I'm just going to let it sit for three seconds, maybe four. Just start reeling them in. Oh, there's something. <laughs> oh, looks like he's coming in. <laughs> oh, there he is, a beautiful boy. Now this is what's called a green sunfish on the gulp cricket. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw it as far as I can. Oh, <laughs> look at that throw. Oh, looks like I got a beautiful one. Wow, <laughs> uh, this is one of the most interesting little fish I've ever caught. Look at this adorable little boy. I believe this is called an orange sunfish or a long ear sunfish. He definitely has some kind of Deformity. What a truly unique and beautiful specimen. All right, let's get one more cast in. <laughs> oh, very good. Now let's just see if we can get one just by letting it sink. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, we got a jumper. <laughs> Whoa, very nice, very nice. Oh, he's putting up quite the fight. Look at this adorable boy. And with that, I think I'll call it a day for this spot. <laughs> Caught so many fish that I ripped my pants. <laughs> if anyone has any drippy St. John's Bay jean shorts, please send them my way to the P.O. Box. Some drippy dad jeans. Oh, looks like Uncle Ben found a little skinky. Climbing up to this little cave and someone just straight up brought their acai bowl here. If that isn't the most Austin thing, I don't know what is. Oh, that's... It's cloth. This is 10 minutes from my house. You definitely set up a little camp in here, cook something over a little fire. But if you roll too far, you might just fall all the way down there. But this is Austin, guys. And this is why all the Californians are coming to move here. So come and buy real estate in Austin and make the prices go up. So Uncle Ben, when he's ready to move to Waco, will make more money. Also, would anyone like to buy my house? Uh, this is my official. <laughs> Please, would anyone like to buy my house for $100,000 over asking price? Any Californians or rich princes from Oman? If you guys would like to buy my house, let me know. You can have a kangaroo in the backyard. A lot of people say there aren't things like this in Waco, but that's not true. We do have at least three things like this in Waco. Hey, these caves go in pretty far. <laughs> now this is a nice cave. <laughs> Tally-ho, everyone. <laughs> What do you guys think? Oh, it looks like someone left a little a little mattress here, a little mat. Oh, all kinds of little bugs are here now. Interesting. Okay, this is very, very cool. So here's a little fire pit someone made. And then here is a little mat that somebody was, I suppose, sleeping on. I assume water does get in here. Well, some fellas will have to come back here. Oh, a little bag or something. Wonder what was in that bag. Well, hey, here's a nice little bag. <laughs> Wonder what was in this little thing. Very neat. So if you walk further into the woods, there's a little teepee that's already set up, but I don't think that would protect you from the rain at all. And they have this little fire pit. Okay, so there's literally a coyote that was just bedding right there on the ground. And he's standing right there. I'm gonna run up to him. Oh, there he is. Let's see if we can get him. <laughs> Come here, puppy. The urban coyote is very, very cool thing. He's somewhere up in these woods. I've never been able to get that close to a coyote just from walking up on. That coyote really let me get these 10 15 feet from it. Wish I'd had my camera ready, you guys. At first I thought it was like a baby deer or something. Check this out, guys. This is where the coyote was bedding. He kind of scratched up the ground a little bit. Very, very interesting. Look, there's this little paw print right there. Very, very cute. Look, there's another little paw print. Important when you're out in the woods and it's too dark to find your way home to start eating things as fast as you can. You gotta keep eating whatever it is just so you can get the energy to find your way back to camp. These are all very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. It's Vinny's. 
still outside of the cage. Vinny, would you like to go back? Oh, look, she's eating the uh, the pears. We still have a lot of pears, you guys, and we can use these pears as fundraisers for only $20 a piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're really good. Oh! 